Is third world travel coming to you? In the face of soaring prices for electric vehicles EVs, an increasing number of individuals are finding themselves unable to afford the transition to eco-friendly transportation options. As a result, many are being compelled to rely on public transport systems, marking a significant shift in commuting patterns. With the global push towards sustainability and reducing carbon emissions, governments and environmental advocates have been urging citizens to embrace electric cars as a cleaner alternative to traditional gasoline-powered vehicles. However, the high costs associated with EVs have created a barrier for individuals from various socioeconomic backgrounds, widening the gap between those who can afford the transition and those who cannot. According to recent studies, the average price of electric vehicles has been steadily climbing over the past several years. While technological advancements have led to improved battery efficiency and longer ranges, they have also contributed to higher price tags. The cost of batteries, which are a crucial component of EVs, remains a major factor in the overall vehicle price. As a result, many individuals, particularly those from low-income households, are finding it increasingly difficult to finance the purchase of an electric car. The financial burden is compounded by the limited availability of government subsidies and incentives, which are often insufficient. Consequently, people are turning to public transport systems as a more accessible and economical means of commuting. Buses, trains, trams, and subways are witnessing a surge in ridership. As individuals seek viable alternatives to car ownership, public transport authorities are adapting to meet the growing demand, investing in infrastructure upgrades, and expanding their services to accommodate the influx of passengers. While the shift towards public transport can have positive implications for reducing traffic congestion and carbon emissions, it also presents challenges. Existing public transport systems may experience strain due to increased passenger volumes, potentially leading to overcrowding and longer travel times. Authorities will need to address these issues by improving the frequency and capacity of services investing in modernization and enhancing the overall commuter experience. In response to the pressing issue of affordability, Governments and policymakers must reassess their strategies for promoting electric vehicle adoption. This includes exploring options such as increased financial incentives, subsidies, and tax breaks, particularly targeting low income individuals and families. Additionally, encouraging the development of a robust used EV market could provide more affordable options for those unable to purchase new electric vehicles. As the cost of electric cars remains a barrier for many, the reliance on public transport as a primary mode of transportation is likely to continue. It is essential for society to address this issue collectively, ensuring that sustainable transportation options are accessible to all, regardless of their financial circumstances. In conclusion, as the cost of electric vehicles continue to rise, more people may find themselves compelled to rely on public transport as an alternative. Please leave a comment, like and share.